Hello everybody, this is Daryl with Bubco Pest Control and trying to address some concerns that uh, our clients have and some of the common questions that we get. So previously we've talked about termites, t different types of termites, uh, their, their swarms and habits, lifestyle. We've talked about roaches, just a, a lot of different things. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was uh, fleas specifically and uh, how do we get rid of fleas. So fleas are not ultimately difficult to get rid of, but it's the matter of how they're being introduced. So we have pets that go outside, we have cats, we have dogs. They're going to go outside, they're going to play around, and uh, they may get these little hitchhiker fleas. They may bring them inside and before long we may have an infestation on the exterior of the home or they may have brought them in and we could have both. We may have them indoors and outdoors, just outdoors or just indoors. So how are we getting these fleas? So we have little critters all over the place, whether it's stray cats, stray dogs, rodents such as mice and rats, uh, possums, raccoons, even some bird species can carry fleas. So if we come out and say for instance we treated the yard, we are going to knock down that population, we're going to kill them on site, or on the site I should say, and then uh, we have to worry about treating indoors as well should you have an indoor infestation. But what we're really looking for is the killing them is the easy part. The, uh, knocking down the population is relatively easy, but it's just as easy to get them reintroduced. So here's the fact of the matter. We can treat your property, and then there's a fact, the fact of the surrounding properties. So we've killed the ones in your yard, but they don't care about you know, borders, boundaries, and fences. If you have an infestation in your yard, 99% chance that there's an infestation in the surrounding properties. So we need to kind of go to the source here to try to reduce the ability for them to reintroduce themselves. So we start talking about uh, wildlife trappings, removing the uh, wildlife, uh, removing the rodents, controlling the rodent population, because we could get rid of your problem and then maybe a rat or a family of rats or a, a stray cat decides to run through your yard or decides to sleep in your backyard for the night. What's going to happen is, is they are traipsing through the yard. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to add squirrels. Squirrels are also carriers of fleas. So as they're running through your yard, or if they're uh, above your yard, a cat's going to sleep there for the night because you have a nice little cozy bush that's going to hide it from, you know, all, all the other alley cats or whatever the case. What you end up having is you have carriers of these fleas, and as they traipse through your yard, they're, these fleas are hopping off. They're looking for new places to breed. So what ends up happening is we have a, a cycle of eliminating the standing population and then a reintroduction. So we really need to, we can do one of two things. We can ensure that the trees are cut back so that there aren't any mice or rats utilizing the trees, climbing up them and getting over onto your roof and then introducing the, the fleas. Uh, they don't have to, it doesn't have to happen down low. If they can find attic access, then the fleas will uh, jump off and. You could have a, a population upstairs first and they find their way downstairs of fleas. Uh, we want to try to determine what the carrier is, how they're being introduced, and then get rid of that. And if we can get rid of that, then we can find the long-term solution to getting rid of uh, the fleas in general. We could do a interior treatment, but it's kind of, uh, we're reliant on you as well to make sure that you're vacuuming uh, treating any cats or dogs that you may have or other pets that uh, may have an infestation of fleas. Uh, routinely cleaning out their bedding, very important, and vacuuming. Uh, you cannot underestimate the power of a vacuum because it's going to suck up the adults. It'll get most of the eggs, but it's not going to get all of them because uh, they tend to attach themselves to the fibers and it's a little bit difficult for them to get up even with the vacuum, but if you do it and uh, it may seem excessive to some people, but if you do it in the morning and the evening, that would be ideal. At least once a day would be great. 
but if not, just a few times a week. Just vacuum, get up the, any potential uh, adult eggs, and then when you're dumping it out, don't dump it out in the house, just in case. You're going to want to dump it outside. So these are a few of the things that we can do uh, in order to help reduce the flea population. Um, is some of the things that you can do actually to reduce the flea population in and around the home. And should you have any questions about treatment, you could always call Bugco Pest Control at 281-240-2157 or visit us at www.bugco.org. Or you could always call us at 210-340-2847 if you have any questions about treatment, treatment methods, or other options. Or you could always visit us at www.bugcosa.com. Thanks.